Hey, it's your girl K Did coming back out to you today. I know I look kind of crazy, but it's all right. <laughs> so, yes, Katanya, I'm talking. Don't do that. I'm done. So I know I look kind of crazy right now, kind of creepy, but I'm doing a um a sheet mask. That's what you call it, a sheet mask. Yeah, I do this once in a while. I'm getting a facial on Friday for my birthday. Um, Katani is gonna be with me. Hopefully, we're doing like a Manny and Petty, so I might film that too. But I'm trying to be very careful with the kid, like content, because they're getting strict with that now. Like, they do a lot of stuff on YouTube, and I don't got time for the foolishness with them people. So, yeah. So basically, I'm coming to you. Subscribe, <laughs> press like if you want, share it with your friends. But it's basically about cutting people off, right? Okay. I feel like very Casper and Jason the team. I don't know. Um, is it Jason with the white face? Yeah, it is. I believe so. Anyway, so I don't know if you could hear her or not, but she doesn't want me to talk. I don't know why. Cause I guess I'm not talking to her, so she's kind of tight right now. But um, it's about cutting off people, right? <sighs> All right. I have a thing. I can have, I don't really have friendships like that, right? But my acquaintances, I be giving them like one strike. And I don't know if that's a good thing to do. I feel like people deserve second chances, but I've, I'm a person who watch from other people's experiences. So because of that, I know that people, if they have a certain habit, they don't tend to change. They didn't keep on the same habit and the same foolishness and ridiculousness. So it's like, you keep on forgiving them. Even though, granted, I'm, if you don't mean, I'm Christian, so you're supposed to forgive all the time, no matter what. Yada, yada, yada. I'm trying my best on that. But it's just like, once you act crazy with me, I have to cut you off. It's like, I don't want to cut you off. I really, really don't. But it's just like, I I need to live in peace. And yeah, I forgive you, but I can't have you in my atmosphere. I can't talk to you. I just have to like, and I'm not saying if we, oh, if we argue, oh, what's well, something stupid. If we argued over like, should we go to Macy's instead of JC Penney's? I'm not, I'm not. I don't mean dumb arguments. If it's something big, and it, I feel like it's gonna affect me and me being around you, I mean I have to cut you off. Like, and I don't really mean like. I don't know how to explain it. I don't think it's good to cut people off, but I do. You have to be like almost dying for me to even talk to you again, like literally, because I've done it. And it's just like, I don't want to get hurt from people. People are. And people sometimes, they don't even try to understand your side. Like, example, this year, me and somebody had a little argument. Granted, it was even over... I was defending somebody else. Like, it wasn't really over me. But she was acting crazy, whatever. And then she ignored me. So I was like, oh, word, that's how you feel. So because of that, I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> like, I, I really tried. And then I already said you cut off. I'm like, yeah, you really definitely cut off. Like, I... like. Like, I don't play. It's like, I don't mean to be that way. And I don't want to be that way. But you are affecting me and taking me out of character. Like, it's crazy. Like, I, I feel like I'm saying the word like definitely way too much. But I really don't want to be that kind of person who cuts people off and do things like that. One thing I cut people off for and I like, well, I'm not going to, whatever. People, people lie on me. People lie on me, bro. That's some, sorry, I had my hand in the thing. That's like me getting cut off for. Like, I don't like people lying on me. I don't like people saying stuff. Like, people have lied on me on stuff. I'm like, do you even make sense? The people who really know me know I'm not doing that foolishness. Like, people have lied and slandered my name. And I don't deal with that. And because of that, I might say hi and bye for you, but you're cut. Like, bro, I don't do the, I don't do people lying on me. I don't like when people lie on me. And if you lie on me, I'm not talking to you. Like, blood or no blood like are you kidding me I, i'm like i just i don't know and because i'm not really close to my family like that like most of my family majority of my family is in jamaica anyway so i'm not gonna close to them because they're not even in the country and the ones who are here really not that great anyway so and i'm just not close and god ever grew up with them regardless so there you go i'm not close to, i never was close to my mother my father was a deadbeat so he was like half deadbeat, half not deadbeat, if that makes sense. Um, so, I just, I don't know. I learned at a very young age 
you need to cut people off because if you don't they just bother you and they bother you and they just like example my dad right when i was a kid my dad people told me my dad was horrible like i didn't believe it because i was a daddy's girl and it's crazy that I'm, i don't know how i was a daddy's girl and i never lived with him i never had a relationship with him so it's like i don't know i just think girls tend to gravitate to their father no matter what their mothers do and it's crazy somebody was like your father's a deadbeat he's no good basically and i don't believe that until i got around like 10 11 i realized like yo this guy is really playing me so i learned at a very young age don't don't mess with this dude <laughs> and the funny thing is my brothers lived all my brothers my father had lived with him and i i'm the only kid who he had and then i'm the oldest who hasn't lived with him and they must have figured i'm the oldest they must have figured out the way before me that he was a horrible father like <laughs> and it's so funny because I talked to my brother the other day and um well messenger was still talking whatever and I thought that him and my brothers my my brother and my dad had like, had amazing relationships because they all lived together at one point I thought it was just like so amazing and all these things and my brother was like no he's a horrible father and I'm like he was horrible to you and he lived with you I'm like I don't understand like what is wrong with these men so I was like I used to be so jealous of my brothers like they got to spend time with him. And I used to be a person, I mean, I was a kid who called my father all the time. And, like, you know, gave him my heart. And got, I sing all the time since I was a kid. I was always singing to him and doing all these things. And this man never called. I mean, he probably, I probably locked up his answering service. But he probably have tapes at his house. Knowing him, he probably threw it away. With me singing to him. And this man would not pick up the phone and call me back. I don't think he ever called me my birthday. I can't remember him calling me my birthday. To tell, and mind you, I used to remind him when my birthday was. If you ask him today, he, I doubt he even know the month. One time I asked him and he told me a different... I'm like, bro, are you serious? Are you kidding me right now? Like, you only got four kids. People have 21 kids. could probably remember better than you. Like, let's be for real. So it's just like... I don't know. I really don't know. And it's crazy. So I think that relationship helped me to learn, like... Once people fail you, they probably gonna fail you again. So I learned from a very young age, just cut these niggas off, like <laughs> cut all of them off because they're gonna keep on failing you. And then my friend was like, like um, was like, I would like she would like somebody to always for, like forgive her, but I'm like people, you be forgiving them and they just keep on breaking your heart. You can't make people close to you because of that because I want people breaking my heart. So I try to I try not my best not to get close to people because of that situation. So it's like. I want to be better and not... Somebody told me, oh, if you cut people off, you're not forgiving them. And obviously, he's a Christian person. And I'm like, I forgive them. I just can't have them around me making my area toxic and keep on doing the same foolishness all, like, over and over again. I can't have that. Especially if you're a liar. Bro. I... I think two people I talk to now that I know lied on me constantly, I still talk to them. I'm not even going to say who it is, but two people I talk to who lie. I mean, they they be lying to me about me in my face. Like, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you out a story one day. Probably when the person died because like, two people are older. <laughs> um, but they be lying. The person lied to me. I'm like, how you going? I'm like, that's not true. I'm like, she's like, yeah, you told me this. I'm like, there's no way I told you this because it's not true. Like, yo. And I say I'm a person who don't lie. I don't lie. Like, I might, that's, if you ask me a question, I'm like, I feel like telling you, or I just don't say anything. The most I might, not, not even a bus driver, I'd be like, I'm like, if I don't have the money, I don't have the money. Like, I don't have the money, can't get the bus. I don't be lying. To, I don't be lying. That's not got time to be lying because when you lie, you have to cover up the lie. And I don't got time for that. So, I don't got time for that. I don't got time for that. So, it's just like, I just don't like the liars. That's what pisses me off the most. And I feel like this video is all over the place. And I'm kind of, you know, doing my little masky mask while I'm doing this. But it's just like... I think that's why I don't be having friends. And I be feeling lonely. When you have friends, especially like people have the big old friend group and all that crazy and that mess. It's like... At the end of the day, when you have all those friends, y'all always in drama. And I'm not, I'm not like, I'm like, be drama free. Because I don't be having all these friends and all these people and all that stuff. Like, I don't be having these problems because I don't have a big friend group. Like, I count on my one hand who I talk to, like, all the time. Like, it was really, honestly, like, I talk to two people. I talk to, 
I just want to talk to one person all the time. Let's be for real. <laughs> like, I talk to one person every single day. Right? And, and I, I'm a person, like, people say, oh, we can go years. We can go months without talking to each other. If I don't talk to you every day, we're not friends. We're not friends. We're acquaintances. Like, we're acquaintances. If I don't talk to you every I'm that kind of person, like... I need somebody to talk to. If we're friends, we have to talk to each other every day. Probably that's a problem. Probably have to work on that. But I used to do that to people, and I realized when you do that to, like, if you talk to them a couple of months after, like, a, people change so much every day, and I feel like you don't talk to them often enough. Say, like, once a week, you don't grow with them. You kind of grow apart, and then your interests change so much that you're kind of away from each other. If I go months without talking to you, we're not friends. Like, dead i'm dead serious i might go out with you i might hang out with you every three four months but if we're hanging out every three four months that's like three times a year bro three to four times a year we talking we we we, we going out with each other we're not friends we're acquaintances that i hang out with or go on trips with or have three hour conversations with every couple of months that's not a friend I need a friend is a person I could put on an emergency, emergency contact right now. I don't even have one. Technically, I put out one person. Actually, person I talk to every day, I put her down as my emergency contact on some paperwork and not on everything, though. But it's just like, that's, that's, that's how I am. So I don't, I have small groups. Um, If y'all want to talk, y'all can. I like talking to my subscribers. I talk to some people on Instagram. Um, I have people that I follow who are my followers on here. And they talk to me privately and whatever on Facebook or Instagram. I'm on, on Instagram more than on Facebook, to be honest. Well, on my Facebook page. I'm on my face, my actual Facebook, like a person for Facebook. Um, I'm on that all the time. I'm on Instagram all the time. But I don't make subscribers have that information. Um, but honestly, if you Google it, you can find it. So it's not even like um, it's hidden because it's not private. It's public. Um, but I have a page for this thing, which is under it in the description. So, yeah. But it's just like, I don't know. And I like strangers more than people that I actually meet and know, which is weird. I feel like most times strangers are more authentic than the people that you actually know in your everyday life. And it's kind of scary and it's kind of weird that people you know will lie on your face or strangers will tell you more of the truth. And to me, that is so crazy. It's so weird. It's so, I don't know. But yeah. This was all over the place. I don't know where I was going with this, to be honest. I hope I'm not talking too fast. Um, but, yeah. I'm trying to work on not cutting off people even for foolishness. Probably something that I feel like I cut people off for foolishness. But if it bothers me, I'm, I just I don't like to be bothered. I don't like to be... I just don't like to be bothered. And a lot of things people bother me with. And it's not a good thing. It's not a good trait. I, I'm honestly trying to work on that. And try to be a better person. But in the meantime, I just got to, you know, cut these niggas off. <laughs> I just need to cut them off. It's just like, uh. Like, my grandma, she all the time, all the time. She going to say, are you doing it? I'm like, bro, my. She be talking about my daughter. Like, I don't know how to raise my child. She be telling me what to do. I'm like, I just. I, I, she's so old. She's like 93 years old. She's technically not really my grandma. My, my both biological grandmas are dead. But um, she basically raised me, my mom. Um, my mother didn't really raise me, let's be honest. I raised myself, but that's a different story. Um, and, yeah, so it's just like, she be telling me stuff to do with my daughter. I'm like, I don't know why you're telling me this. Like, I help with my brother. Like, I definitely babysitted him. I definitely did stuff for him. So I'm confused on why you're telling me all this. And I basically, a lot of the jobs that I have over my life is with kids. So I'm confused on why you think... I don't know how to do what I'm doing. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. And if I really was wanted something, I wouldn't ask you for it because I'm not a professional. Half the stuff she's saying be cracked out. So I'm like, it doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, <sighs> but yeah, that's how it is. <sighs> I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted, but I'm not exhausted, if that makes sense, because I'm a person right now, it's like not, like probably after 10 now, because it's like 9.50 something when I started this video, and I'm probably not going to go to sleep until 1 o'clock, and tomorrow is Katanya's potluck at school, so I can't wait for that, I think it's very exciting, we're going to be doing stuff in the community too, because um, you know, Thanksgiving is on Thursday, 
and my birthday's on Friday. Eh. I'm gonna go get our nails done. Ooh, I can't wait. I'm so damn excited. So I'm ready for that. But I don't like going out on Black Friday. Actually, I try not to go back on Black Friday. But you know, I'm trying to find a lot of things for me and Katanya to do. I feel like I never grew up with a mom who really we didn't do things together. She didn't take me out. The more she took me out was Jamaica, and I'm like, okay. I used to go there every summer, whatever. When I was a kid, I loved Jamaica. Now, I'm like, eh, I'm over it. I need to go somewhere else. <laughs> so, and I've been to about three other Caribbean islands. I've been to St. Martin, Cayman, and the Bahamas. So, I feel like that's it. No, I didn't go to St. Kitts yet or St. Lucia. I want to go there. Um, so, it's like, they're pretty much all the same. I want to go to, like, Australia now and Pat. Not Paris. I'll say Paris. I've already been there that off my list um i want to go to mexico i want to go to africa i want to go to i want to go to different places i want to go to um italy i want to go to rome um things like that like especially like italy and rome i want to see like the big amphitheater like i want to see things like that um but yeah what i was saying i don't remember but yeah, I want to do more things with my daughter. I wanted us to go out more often and things like that. You know, the problem I need to get a job so I can afford all these. That's the thing. I don't got a job so I can afford all these things that I want to do. I didn't get a job but I can afford to do all these things that I want to do with my daughter. Um, but it's just like, I want to do so much with her. My mother didn't do anything with me. People would take me out with them. And like, the first movie I saw was with somebody. I don't think my mother took me. I know I saw her because somebody took me with their um god niece or something like something like that i forgot watch watch hercules for july in the 90s when it came out in theaters um but yeah i don't think hercules came out it didn't come out on the fourth of july but i watched it on fourth of july of the year it came out there you go to clarify that <laughs> you know what's why i'm gonna be like oh my gosh it didn't come out on fourth of july i'm like i know duh <laughs> but um but yeah i want to do some more things with her I want to do spa days at home. You know, we're going to have a spa day on my birthday. But I want to do spa days at home. And I think she should be nice to cut my nails. But she, I don't like cutting nails. But she likes to do that stuff. So I'll probably make her do that. And I think she'll be happy, to be honest. I saw a kit, like a small kit at Five Below. I don't know how good it is. Something like nail polish and dry your nails. I don't know how good it is. But I can, I'm going to try to buy it and see if it works. I think my daughter would like that, but I just put it up though, because she'll miss a miles. But right now, there was a marker on the wall, and I still haven't tried to get it off yet. I'm just I'm over it. I'm done. Marker and crayon is all. I'm not gonna say it's all over the world, but it's on one, two, three, four spots in my apartment now. I'm like, girl, can you stop? But um, but yeah, I just want to do more activities with her, cause. Life is so short, and you never know when your child's going to go. You never know when you're going to go. You never know when your siblings are going to go. You never know when anybody's going to die. And I know somebody whose child actually died in August, and their child was so young. They were 18, and it's so sad. And it's just like, I want to have as much memories as I can with her. So if I do, God forbid, I leave any time so she know that I had all these memories, that she had all these videos to look back on. And God forbid if something happened to her, I have all these memories that I had and I did with her and experienced with her. My mother never experienced with me. And I want her to know that I love her. Like, I I feel weird because, like, this this white thing is making me... And I feel like my eyes are moving. just weird. I'm sorry. Um, I want her to know that I really do love her and I really do... I'm going to do the most with her. And I want her to know that I... I don't know. But obviously, you know, I don't have contacts in right now. So my eyes are acting kind of wonky. You know why? Um, but yeah, I just want to know that I love her and I want to do everything that I can with her. And it's like, you know, that's what I want to do. So this had nothing to do with half the stuff I said in the beginning, but it's all over the place. And yeah, that's what it is about being a mom and trying to have the best for your kids. And I never leave my daughter out behind. I don't, I don't believe in that crap. I don't believe that my child should experience, especially a black child, should experience everything that I experience. And it's good to have a little road dog with you, bro. It's a little road dog. A little road talk. <laughs> but yeah. Bye. Talk to you later. Later. Thank you for listening, guys. Bye.